Hi, I'm Jerry from BlackSoldierFlyBlog.com, and uh, I wanted to go over the assembly of uh, our 6 and 12 gallon biocomposters. This is the workbench where I build them, and I've got the 6 gallon unit here now. I'm going to zoom in here and show you the very simple steps for putting one together. Okay, so this is the way you'll get it. Uh, let's take the top off. Let's do the, the top first. Okay, we invert it, so we're going to assemble it upside down. Pull over the parts first. You'll get, uh, in the harvest canister, you'll get this roll of mesh. That is a lizard slash frog barrier. You get it. Also inside of the uh, composter, you'll have the, the vinyl uh, drain tube. Set that back there. we get a cable tie that goes with the drainage tube. It will be, in the case of the six gallon unit, you'll get four equal size spacers. There'll be six with the 12 gallon unit. Then you get a larger uh, 90 degree elbow and a short length of pipe. This is for the harvest container. So, first let's do the lid. So, what, the thing to keep in mind with the lid is that you want to keep the uh, two logos oriented, the top and the bottom lid, each have a Sterilite logo and you want to keep those aligned because that's the way it fits together best. So essentially you're just going to take this apart, keep it oriented the same way, just install the spacers and the mesh and put it back together. It's really that easy. You want to be careful when you thread the wing nuts onto the bolt so you don't get the threads off, uh, cross thread it and strip it, but they're pretty easy to work with. We use uh, nylon hardware in this case because we uh, want corrosion resistance, so never a problem with the nylon. So you just slip the spacers on the four bolts, or six on the larger unit, open up the band of mesh, that just slides over the spacers, and then line up the logos, slide it back in place and just loosely install the wing nuts at this point just until they get to the bottom of the lid and then we'll tighten them a little bit as we go. I just want to stress that be very use very gentle pressure uh, with the uh, wing nuts and the bolts. It, it doesn't take much. You're just trying to hold it in place you, you would never use a wrench, even though it's a, the bolts have a hex head on the other side. It would never take so much pressure that you need to hold that. These are in there fairly rigidly, so as you can see, it'll, it um, might pop out of place here, the mesh. So once you get it basically aligned, just kind of poke that in into place there a little bit. And then you can stick your hand through the vent here and just kind of roughly center the spacers around the bolts and just feel a little bit of resistance. I mean, just like one finger is all you need. I've worked with this design quite a bit and the, I've never had a lid just get loose. I mean, what, once it's in place, it pretty much stays. So that's, I'm using minimal pressure, just enough so that the spacer doesn't move. I want to get to this last one and I kind of, I might have to put a little tension on the the uh, frog barrier, lizard barrier. And that might pull, if, if these are too loose, that might pull these out, but no, that's still firmly in place. And that's it. Uh, you can take a look when you're when you're putting the uh, some pressure on there and look and see if it look, if you're sucking this hex head down too far into the space or just be a little dimple there and that's all it takes. But, if it gets loose in the future, you can always tighten them again, but I've just never had that happen. We've already got the uh, egg strips in place when you get it. Um, probably no need to take these out unless you need to clean them eventually of uh, old egg casings. You can just run a stream of water in there and clean out the old eggs. Uh, also, you can you can use uh, your own cardboard strips if you want to cut cardboard strips and put those there instead or some combination. These are handy because once the eggs are laid in there, you can use them to uh, 
uh, establish colonies and other composters, give them to friends or whatever. Okay, that's the lid. Same process on the 12 gallon lid, just with six bolts and spacers. Also in the uh, parts you'll find a piece of Velcro. This is for making repairs if need be to the larva barrier. In case you should have it peel away or some gap somewhere, you can cut that away and uh, clean it and replace it. Next let's put on the drain tube assembly. Um, we're basically going to replicate what you have on this end on, on the other piece of PVC that's on the outflow from the drainage system. This is not so snug that it, you can't take this off. So, uh, you know, this comes off. I take it off every once in a while. If there's a little blockage in there, um, just slide it off and let the blockage clear and put it back on. Also, it's nice to rotate it sometimes, so that's not supposed to be super tight. But the friction holds it in place. I, I never have a problem with it. It's just sliding off while I'm working with it inadvertently. So it's just the right amount of pressure. So we're going to just slide the tube on here and put the cable tie on uh, on this end. I just want to point out we do have a screw that goes through the bottom that holds the drain assembly to the bottom so it doesn't get junk kind of shoved under there when you're working with it. We want to keep it down at the bottom. So don't turn, you know, we don't want to torque this around. Uh, I've never had a failure of this screw. Uh, but we, we didn't want to torque it around, so just keep that in mind. Now this fitting will unscrew, Oops. but uh, there's no need to, excuse me, there's no need to undo it when you're assembling it. It should be pretty snug, but I point that out in case you, um, it inadvertently comes loose. You just want to put just enough pressure to, uh, seat the o-ring that's on the inside. Okay, so we have uh, a slight bevel. I, I've already beveled this a little bit on the inside. I also have water-based lubricant on both ends and it'll be dry when you get here so you just put a little bit of water inside and uh, re-wet that lubricant. You don't need to, to uh, spin this to get it in place. All you have to do is just kind of get it started. I've already got it beveled like I said and then just kind of support this and just gently rock it into place. Now if you get, if your tube happens to be a little bit tighter than this, uh, you can take uh, and dunk this end for a minute or two in some hot water like um, like the temperature of some hot coffee or tea. Once you get it in place, just put the cable tie around roughly around the center of that fitting there and kind of pull it tight, cut off the excess, and you're ready to go. The last thing is to install the harvest container. I just recommend friction, no glue, because uh, it's nice to be able to take this off and inspect it, or if you get some larvae that are just hanging out in there, uh, oftentimes when I uh, empty it, I'll, I'll look in there and see, see if there's any larvae that are just hanging out in there, and, and uh, you can remove this, have a cup under there, kind of catch them, and harvest those as well. So you just want to stick it on there with an upward angle, on this piece and the reason that we want an upward angle on there is because um, any rainwater that might hit it if you have it in a wet location will uh, wick away from the harvest container, container instead of going in there. Well, this will all kind of settle into place once you get some some weight in there. Um, I wanted this to be a fairly tight fitting here uh, so that the larvae can't get out of there. So. And then you know to empty it, you just pull it off like that, take it off, empty the larvae, and replace it. So that's it for the six gallon unit. Of course there's more to know for getting it set up to, uh, to actually start composting and attracting black soldier fly females. But uh, I'll cover that in another video. There's one difference with the 12 gallon unit, and that is uh, the way that the drain tube fits. It comes with both ends attached, and it's the same situation with this one, where you don't want to torque the drain around too much. Uh, but in this case, you do need to re remove this nut. This is uh, just a temporary nut for shipping. Let's remove that, discard that. 
and then you're just going to thread this end of the tube onto that. There we go. And again, supporting the uh, the drain plumbing. Just turn it until it's a little bit snug. It really doesn't take much pressure. There's an O-ring inside. It just has to basically touch the side here. It's not under pressure. It's just uh, the uh, liquid that what collects in there when we flood it and, and from processing waste. So it really doesn't take a lot of pressure. If, if you don't do it tight enough, you can just uh, come back later and, and apply a little bit more pressure. But it really doesn't take much at all. So that's all you need to do uh, for that one. It's the same setup. Larger pieces, but the same setup for the harvest container and, and the lid is identical except uh, six bolts instead of four. And that's it. Um, I want to thank you if you are one of the uh, people that is uh, working with one of these units and uh, you know consider yourself kind of part of a big experiment we're all learning about black soldier fly composting and uh, I have a lot to learn we all have a lot to learn the design is is evolving uh, any feedback you want to give would be as much appreciated um, you're very welcome and I encourage people to join the forum come and ask any questions you want that'll be our basic format for customer services uh, ask your questions on the forum that way you can get perspective from more people than just myself and then other people can benefit from your question uh, at the same time so it's a more efficient way for us all to uh, work with this unit and uh, find ways to improve it and better ways to work with it so um, anyway again thank you and um, you know visit us at the blog blacksoldierflyblog.com and to find the forum you'll, you'll see a feed up at the top on the header it says uh, join the conversation you just click that and it'll take you to the forum and um, thanks again. Uh, I, I think you'll really enjoy working with the Black Soldier Flies. They're amazing, and uh, it's a great composting technique that uh, is also a lot of fun. So thanks again.